Hi, I am Debbie Cook. I am a certified public accountant and today we want to look at in QuickBooks Online once you get your transactions downloaded from your bank account into QuickBooks Online what do you do with them? They don't automatically go into your check register so we do have to go in and we have to look at every transactions and we are going to go ahead and tell it that it can be posted into your check register. So let's take a look on how we would do that. So once we're in QuickBooks, we're already in it, we're gonna go to banking. And here is where it's actually going to show us what we need to do. So it says we have 171 items that we need to deal with. We gotta add them into our official check register. So at this point, if we ran a profit and loss report in QuickBooks, none of these transactions are showing up. So what we have to do is this is every transaction that's ever taken place in the bank account um, that hasn't been added into our check register. So we can go back, you can choose to put them in date order, you can choose to sort them by description, whatever you choose to do. So let's just take a look right now at the easiest one for me to go ahead and add. I know that this is income, this is sales, and it has automatically put it to sales for me. So I can click add and it's gone. This one, and the reason that I know this information is I actually have my bank statement here with me that I'm going through and looking because when it comes through from your bank account, it doesn't always give you a lot of information. Like this check right here, um, this check right here, it was to, um, per my bank statement, it's from Walmart or to Walmart. One other thing you can do from here is set up a vendor on the fly. So we can set up vendors right here. Got Walmart in there and supplies. Once we have that in there, we can tell it to add. You can go on down. You have the option. You can, I don't necessarily recommend it. You can go through and you can add all of these things into your check register and you can go back at a later time and categorize them where they need to go. Like I said, I don't necessarily recommend that. I would do it in here. You can also set to where you can tell it that you, like an internet transfer, if that's always gonna be um, owner's pay and personal expenses, how it QuickBooks automatically did it, that automatically categorized it, then you can also um, memorize that. We can look at that in another video. Right now we just want to focus on how to click that add button and get it over there into your check register. So we're gonna add this one. Let's add this one and let's add, I just wanna go over and show you what it looks like in the check register now. We can go up to the top and we can go to register. And now the things in our check register are what we have just added. Cause like I said, they do not show up otherwise. So you can leave them setting over there in that add window and they affect nothing up until the point that they actually get added in. So once again, your add window, you go to banking, all of your transactions that you need to add are listed here. You can add them, you can match them if you're using your QuickBooks to where you're actually entering the transactions as you pay them. So as you write a check, it's being entered in QuickBooks. As you do a payroll check, it's being entered in QuickBooks. You make a deposit, you enter it in QuickBooks yourself. At that point, you would want to tell it to find a match so it can actually match that transaction. Otherwise, you're duplicating your transaction by adding another one. You have two different options. Go ahead and add, find the match, and get them in there. But you do wanna go through and clear all of these out after they've been downloaded from your QuickBooks. Thanks and stay tuned for more videos on QuickBooks.